Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're going to be talking about the differences between dermaplaning and face shaving. I'm also going to be sharing with you my first time on dermaplaning, which will be today, holla, at home, along with some tips and tricks on how to do it that I learned along the way. So if you're interested in these hair removal techniques and want to see how to do it at home, then make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. Hit the bell for more beauty tips and tutorials and comment if you've tried any of these hair removal techniques. Don't forget to follow me on socials and share this with friends and family so they can learn about it too. Now, without further ado, let's get into this video. Make your dream come true. But let me get this video, never need no matter, tell me what to do. Talk about the differences of each hair removal method because a lot of people actually get face shaving and derma planning confused. It is not the same thing, although they do have similarities. I'm also going to be talking about what method is good for who. Also, I do want to mention I am not licensed, I am not certified, I am not an esthetician. Everything is self taught. I do a lot of research for you guys so I can make sure I give accurate information. First, we're going to talk a little bit about face shaving. Face shaving is a pretty basic method. It's when you take your normal face razor or body razor, whatever you want to call it, and shave your face. What this does is it removes any peach fuzz or hair from the skin for a flawless makeup application. Now, dermaplaning does take it a step further because you're not only taking off that peach fuzz and hair, but you're also exfoliating the epidermis layer of the skin. So basically, you're taking that top layer off those dead skin cells, that dirt, debris, pollution that's causing your skin all that damage. You're taking all that off. Like I said, face shaving does involve a regular razor which usually comes with three or four blades this one doesn't come with three or four blades because i did just happen to buy the sensitive version but most of them do usually come with about three or four where derma planning you're actually using a scalpel or razor for the face something that has a single blade and looks like this so as you guys can see if i get closer you see that sharp blade right there? And these are disposable. Everything I have mentioned in this video that I will be mentioning, the skincare, the products I'm using will be linked down in the description box below. So check that out. Now, a lot of estheticians and licensed dermatologists will tell you to get the treatments done in the salon but honestly it's not necessary i've done my research if you're new to razors then of course be careful with how you use it on your face i'm going to be explaining everything for you guys so you don't mess up anywhere but just know mistakes do happen we're all learning we're all at home users if you're watching this video so again a lot of estheticians will tell you go into the salon and do this but you can do it at home it's probably not as effective as the ones in the salon but it is a lot better than face shaving and a lot cheaper also a lot of estheticians will tell you to come in of course because it's their job they get paid to do this they also do a facial peel usually in the salon after the treatment to just clear out any more of that dirt debris um clean out the pores take the exfoliation a step further i'm not going to be doing a peel in this video but you can do it. It is optional. You can go to the store and buy a glycolic acid peel, which I heard is really good for this. Um, there's also a few more. Face shaving, regular face shaving, you can do two to three times a week. Just know this may cause razor bumps, irritation, especially to sensitive skinned people. That's really it when it comes to face shaving. There's not really much to it. Derma planning. Again, it can be done at home, but in the salon, it's usually done by a licensed or certified esthetician or dermatologist. It can be done at home, again, with the right tools and the right tips and tricks. Also, skincare technology and makeup technology, beauty technology in general is getting a lot more innovative. So tools that they use in spas and salons are starting to come out more for the everyday consumer. 
Now, derma planning is good for people who have acne scarring or even deal with acne in general. It's also perfect for people who suffer from fine wrinkles or lines and have dull, dry, or sun-damaged skin. Sun-damaged skin includes hyperpigmentation, things of that sort. In addition to these, this is also good if you want a smooth makeup application, just like face shaving, or even better, a better skincare application. So if you're derma planning, your skincare actually absorbs a lot better because now there is nothing there to block it from penetrating into the skin. Now in a salon, again, it is a lot more pricier. You can do a session for about half an hour and it can range anywhere up to $250. If you're someone like me who doesn't have $250 to spend on someone shaving my face, then that's why you're watching this video. And everyone has different results. I should mention that. So don't expect to see the same results as someone else who've gotten derma planning done. Also, another few things to know, you can get a little red after derma planning because of all the exfoliation, but this does go away within a few hours. No pain, but a lot of people say there is a light kind of tingling sensation, especially after you're done. Sunscreen, 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 sunscreen is mandatory. If you do not put sunscreen on after derma planning and of course doing your skincare, you can cause your skin to get blotchy from sun exposure. So try not to be in the sun too much, but if you are, please wear SPF 30 or higher. Derma planning claims to remove three weeks of dead skin, dirt, and debris. So it is recommended to do this at least once a month but no more than every 21 days because you can over exfoliate and actually damage your skin also you should never derma plan when you're sunburnt and when you have active breakouts like severe breakouts because it can lead to pain and if you're not doing correctly it can even lead to there being an infection of some kind now, if you do have a small little breakout, then you can just skip over that. And again, in the salon, they do use a professional scalpel blade. One more key thing we're gonna just say, which I am gonna mention again as we're doing the derma planning, is you want to use your blade at a 45 degree angle. That is the best to get that exfoliation going on and getting all those hairs removed. And that's pretty much it. Let's stop talking and let's derma plan this face, baby. The first step would be to use an oil-based cleanser, which any oil-based cleanser is fine. Just make sure it's gentle on the skin. Using an oil-based cleanser to remove any of those oils, the makeup you might have on. I really don't have makeup on right now. I'm literally only wearing mascara, but we're still gonna use this. It's not mandatory to use an oil cleanser first, but it is recommended just to make sure you have that extra cleanse going on. I'm using the Yangu Beauty Gel to Milk Cleanser with YMB Complex. So this is actually an anti-aging, uh, all natural oil-based cleanser. All the ingredients are based out of Africa. And then once you do your Oil-based cleanser, even if you're not doing it and you decide to skip over that, you must, must, must use a gentle, regular foaming cleanser. So the one I'm going to be using is the Innisfree Brightening Pore Facial Cleanser with Jeju Halabong. Um, and this is also meant for hydrating. I'm not going to show you the cleansing part. We're just going to get right into the products and the derma planning. So we have washed our face. Our hair is looking crazy but it's okay, don't it always? Now the second step is also optional. A lot of people do like to use an oil for the second step before actually doing the blading because this does help the blade go over the skin even smoother and helps it get even closer to the hair and to that exfoliation you want. You can use a facial oil, a gel like aloe vera, or even a lotion. 
Again, this is just a preference, but I am going to be using an oil. This is the Province Beauty 24K Gold Beauty Oil. It has 24K Gold and Rosehip Oil, which are really beneficial for acne prone and combination skin. It also stimulates collagen production, is anti-aging, balances complexion, hydrates, and so much more. So what you're going to do is you're literally just going to take a small amount of the oil and put it on your face. So we're going to do like a drop here, a drop here, and a drop here. And then you're just going to rub it in. That's pretty much it. You want a thin layer. You don't want anything too thick. Now you're going to get your blade ready. Get a cup of warm water so you have something to clean your blade with. And a damp little towel so you can wipe, wipe off the excess debris and stuff that's coming off your face so you want to use the blade at a 45 degree angle you're going to wet your blade first get it warm and clean you're going to go in downward strokes so you're going to start usually you want to try to hold the skin but i can't do that at the same time so i'm just going to start going down make sure you guys can see over here Basically, you're going to go with the hair strokes. So whichever way your hair is growing, that's where you want to go starting off. And there's your first little bit of gunk. You guys can see that. You're going to wipe that off on your towel and you're just going to keep going. I'm going to speed this part up for you guys and then we'll come back to do the next step. So sorry about that my phone ran out of storage and had to upload everything back to the computer and we actually finished that last step so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same thing but now we're gonna go against the growth of the hair so now that we have all the hair off it's gonna be a lot more gentler on the skin going against the growth instead of with it and that's gonna provide a better exfoliation so let's just go ahead and do that
guys. So I have finished Dharma planning and it's all over this thing, but I just wanted to show you real quick. It does take off that dirt and debris and gunk from your skin. Cause look at that. That was one swipe and a blade. And my face feels so smooth. It looks so smooth. It feels so nice. I do see my acne a little bit more, but let's hope that goes away. Now that we have cleared everything from our skin. I have always been acne prone. Let me just put that out there. Flogged pores. So I'm hoping this does help with that because I have heard derma planning is good for acne prone people, like I said earlier. So that is one of the main reasons why I wanted to try it so bad. We're going to get into aftercare. Now aftercare, like I said, you always wear sunscreen. The only time you don't wear sunscreen is at night. It is now probably like 4 or 5 p.m. So I am not going to be putting on sunscreen. But your follow-up care for your skincare is pretty basic. You don't want to go too in on the products. First, what you're going to do is use an alcohol-free toner just to clear away the rest of that debris and hair and close up those pores. We're going to use the Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. This is made with 100% pure Madagascar Centella. It's really good for acne-prone skin. So, yes, baby. Then, splash your face with a little bit of cool water and then pat it dry and you're gonna go in with your skincare. Now, like I said, you wanna keep it pretty basic. I'm adding two little extra things because I know they're really clean and beneficial for my skin, especially after dermaplane, you wanna moisturize the skin. So I'm gonna be using the first two products, which are optional, again, the Rovectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion, which acts like a toner, but is actually an essence, so it's two in one. And then I'm also going to be using, after that, the Madagascar Centella Ampule. If you guys don't know, ampules are basically a lot more potent than just a regular serum. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And then as my serum, I'm going to be using the Keys Soul Care Promise Serum. This is under European standards, so 1,300 plus ingredients removed. And then to finish off, I'm going to use... My DN24 Hydro Cream Intensive Vitamin Moisturizer from Pharmagel. This is a really nice moisturizer. I love it. It makes my skin feel so soft. And it is a retinol moisturizer. So again, only use this at night if you're going to use retinol. Certain people are sensitive to retinol. So if you haven't used it before, then just use a basic moisturizer. Don't go too in. But I love how this moisturizer makes my skin feel and look. It feels so hydrated and soft and smooth. And especially after this little routine, I want to see how that turns out. So I'm going to go in with my routine and then we're going to come back real quick and just give you a little final update on how things went for me and if I really liked it and if I would try it again. Okay, guys. So my skincare is on and I'm feeling beautiful, um, as you always should. My thoughts on derma planning, I would do it again. I would do it at home again. Um... Again, I'm not paying 200 and something dollars for a 30 minute face removing licensed person to do it. And I can honestly do it at home myself, but that's just my opinion. Don't go off what I say, guys. If you want to get it done at the esthetician, then go ahead and do it. No judgment here. I just wouldn't do it. I really like the results. My skin feels so soft and smooth. I want to see how this goes for a few months and if it does help with the acne situation. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Dharma planning with me today. And I hope you stay for more. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now and hit the bell so you don't miss out on more beauty reviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know if you enjoyed this Dharma planning video or if you tried Dharma planning yourself. Even at the esthetician, how were the results? How'd you like it? Don't forget to thumbs up the video for me and share it with friends and family so everyone can get to know the difference. Follow me on socials, as always. And we'll see you back here again next Thursday, as always, with another video at 11 a.m. You guys stay beautifully awesome, as always.